So, you want to be an all-pro lock snapper, huh? You think you got what it takes? Do you even know what it takes? The game is changing rapidly, and this year showed it more than any other when the all-pro long snapper wasn't even in the NFL to start with as a long snapper, but came in as a linebacker. I mean, we've done a full 360 from the old days, back when they would just make their most athletic person like a tight end linebacker, heck, even the quarterback, throw the ball between their legs and pray to God they didn't mess it up. Then we had a revolution where a group of people trained exclusively for this job, but sometimes would have athleticism that rivals punters and kickers as far as relevancy in making tackles. But man, could those suckers sling footballs. Now, we have a hybrid between the two. We've got suckers that can sling footballs, and oh yeah, they're also professional level linebackers, which means pro level open field tackling, pro level speed, pro level agility and awareness, and pro level toughness. A big upgrade from long snappers of just a couple years ago. First, let's take a look at who we're looking at. It is Luke Rhodes of the Colts. The Colts have a great special teams unit, and he is an instrumental part and was also an all-pro long snapper this year. First, dude doesn't miss on snap. I've watched every single snap he's had this season, and the worst ones are when Rigo has to maybe slightly extend his arms up to get the ball or just bend a little bit at the waist to go down and get it, and those are rare. He also had a lot of success short snapping, but I'm a punning specialist, so if someone wants to break down his short snaps, go ahead. Anyway, one thing to watch before every snap that I love that he does is his head movement. I mean, I personally love this because as a long snapper, you don't really get a lot of ways to mess with the opposing team because there's really not much you can do. But guys that utilize literally the only way to mess with them pre-snap, which is by having a lot of head movement, is just such an added bonus. Okay, so the punt block team is often looking for ways to get a jump on the snap, and when you're moving your head sporadically, it eliminates a potential tell and forces them to stay in their rushing stances longer, which can hurt their get off time, and it, you know, allows a little bit of cushion for your punter. This is one of the reasons why they didn't have any block punts this year. On top of that, <clears throat> he really helps eliminate almost any middle penetration, which is a lot harder than guys give credit for because you don't always have a guy lined up directly over you, and they tend to have a pretty heavy shade to one side or the other. On top of that, you have to essentially pull your head out from between your butt crack and get it up in time to see who's coming, then go and deliver a forward blow even though you just launched all your momentum backwards. So, kudos to every single person that can do this well because it couldn't be me. Also, this dude does a really, really good job of covering and it's kind of hard to show because if you're good at covering, people will tend to run away from you or just fair catch it or on top of that, make sure that they always have somebody lined up on top of you to block you. For the most part, teams went with door number three, which is making sure that they have a man on roads because Lord forbid they let the long snapper pad his stats. But essentially making a guy get on the line to block means there's one less guy behind the line blocking anybody who gets off free, which is bound to happen every play. One thing that I personally just like watching Rhodes is how aggressive he is. There's not a single play I've seen where he hasn't gone out of his way to make sure he blocks somebody. Like, look at this play against the Niners. There was essentially no rush at all, and he just smacks a little dude next to him because, you know what? Evan, it's his job. So, all in all, to be an all-pro, you have to be as precise as any other long snapper. You have to be able to cover as well as any other long snapper, but you also have to have that special sort of dog mentality on the football field. And I tell you what, Luke Rhodes is a hybrid that I just freaking love to watch. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and enjoy some more long snapper content. And as always, peace.